Okay, right now we want to make our vector graph. Um, we've already put in our vector components, um, adding on to each other all the way um, up till the final resultant. And we also have a, um, a data for our uh, resultant vector that we want to have. We're going to do like six different data series all in the same graph. So the first thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and highlight uh, these first two. Um, so this is our first vector. And we'll go up to insert and uh, we'll go over to charts and we want um, scatter and we want uh, one of these line kind of scatters here like this. Okay, and we're gonna put that on there. Now this always messes up when you do, do two points. So we're going to come up here to select data and we're gonna take this first series here and we're gonna edit it. And we'll call that first series vector one. And then we're gonna click on the X values and we're gonna get the correct X values which means going down instead of across like it was. And the Y values would be right there. And that's good. So now we're going to add another one. We'll call it vector 2. We'll get our X values. And we're going to take these next two overlapping here. And then the Y values will be these. And we'll click OK. Add vector 3 X those, Y, those, okay, add, vector 4, X, those, Y, be those, okay. Um, let's see. Add vector five x. Uh, can I go down below? I think I can. Y. I got my some data behind my chart here, so I think that's right. Click OK. Okay, yeah, so that's right. Okay, um, so we also, let's, let's go back up to select data again. We're going to actually add one more in now. Um, and we'll call this the resultant. And we're going to get our X values here. And our Y values here. Okay. And we'll close that out. Okay. So we want to start doing some stuff here. Um, actually, my last data, I better do that again. Did that stay in or not? No, it didn't. I must not have hit save on that one. Let's do that again. Resultant x values there, y values there. There we go. OK. And then. Okay, all right, there it worked. Okay, so we want to do some things on this graph. Um, first thing, let's just, I'm going to right click on, right -click on this graph, and I'm going to fill it to be uh, all black. Okay, um, another thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and click on, I'll click on the horizontal axis, and format the axis. I'm going to come over here to this bar thing, go to number, um, no, it's not number. Uh, where is it? Axis options. Okay. And for the major unit, I want to just do one unit. We're going to make sure our graphs are both the same on both sides. So and then I'm going to click on the vertical axis. And I have to come up here, I guess. Let's see. Froze on me. Try to get back in there. There we go. Major. We do one. Okay, and that's good on that. And uh, then uh, let's come back on here and let's go ahead and click on like the there's a vertical axis. We're going to delete. Um, 
we're just going to start deleting things off so if we can get it to work delete hmm if I right click and delete it will that work okay I guess I have to right click and delete them I don't know why I can't just click the delete but oh well delete okay that's good um, I'm going to shrink this kind of up to where it needs to I'm going to have it be kind of small on my user form. You want it to have kind of be the same size on your user form here. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here. I'm going to, let's see, where did our, this is our results, and the green was our results. So I'm going to click on these, and um, let's see, I'll, I'll double, uh, no, let's see. Click on that, and let's go to the format here and be on our line. So I'm going to be on the line each time for these. So I'm going to click on that first vector like this, and I'm going to oh, I'm going to change all these component vectors the same color. I'm going to change it to orange, and then I need to come down to end arrow type, and choose I'll choose this arrow here. So it puts an arrow on the end. So I'm going to click on the next one. That one's already orange, so I can come down here and I'll click on the arrow. Come to this one. I'm going to make that orange. End arrow type there. Click this one. Make that one orange, and arrow type there. Click this last one. Make that one orange, and arrow type there. And then I'm going to click this last one here, and I'm going to make this one uh, some other color. I'm going to get that white. That'll be our resultant. And I'm going to go end arrow type and make it a uh, vector there. And there you go. So what we have is we have vector one, two, three, four, five. And then we have the resultant going from the tail of the first to the head of the last. There is the, like the displacement arrow. This resultant vector is doing what all five of these vectors did. It ends up at the same um, location. Instead of walking all this way, you could have just cut right through here and got to the same, same point. So um, that's how you make your graph. And then and later on in the book, we're going to show you how to uh, take that graph and embed it back into the user form.